Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Scout Class Dead End. But before we get on to the video, we'll give you a little bio of Dead End. Dead End is a Decepticon who works for Lord Megatron. In the G1, he was a member of the Stunticon Combiner Team, which I do not have the G1 set, but I have the Combiner Wars set. And this is a Scout Class gimmick figure, so you will see the gimmick once I get on to the video itself in the next two minutes and now it's time to look at cyberverse dead end himself he rolls very well you, i'm going to show you the gimmick because it comes up here in vehicle mode we're going to flip this up and he's got the uppercut gimmick but now we're going to get down to comparisons with this scout class figure because these are little gimmicky figures. I got some other ones. Here's Cyberverse Scout Class Leader Megatron. Cyberverse Scout Class Ramjet. And Scout Class Gimmick. Starscream. It's not the best jet mode. Because he walks on legs like something from Robotech. Here is the Scout Class Shadow Striker with the Turbo Boost gimmick. Scout Class Ratchet. Scout Class Bumblebee. I don't have Scout Class Slipstream yet, but she's on my to get list. But here we got Optimus Prime. But now we're going to transform this figure, which is very simple. Rotate this around. Fold this up to become the Bat Pack. And split the legs. And let's look at this robot mode. Man, this is really well articulated and good looking for a Scout Class gimmick. No knee bends, no elbow bends. It looks, you can plug in a weapon on his arm so you can go, Take this, Autobots. Pew, pew. But yeah, it's part of the robot mode. And the gimmick still works here. If I can make it work. Come on. The upper cup gimmick works in robot mode. But now, for robot mode comparisons, we're going to dig out the other Decepticons. You know me. To compare it 100%. But I've got these transformations memorized so good, I can do them in my sleep. Here is Scout Class Starscream. Next to Dead End, Scout Class Leader Megatron. And of course, Scout Class Ramjet, which I like this more than that. And all the other gimmick figures, because it looks like it popped out of the Generation 1 cartoon. And Shadow Striker, once I get her in her robot mode. Very easy to do. Once you got the hang of it, though. And here we got Shadow Striker next to Dead End. She doesn't stand too well because the gimmick is so fussy it won't let me stand it very well. So I have to hold her feet down to show that comparison off. Sorry about that. Next on the list, we got Ratchet, which gimmick is very simple. Hook foot. So that's what I call that one, the hook foot gimmick. Now we're going to do some Autobot comparisons. Here we got Ratchet, the Medic. Once I get it to tab into place. Scout Class Bumblebee. Why not? I love these Scout Class figures that much. And of course, Scout Class Leader Optimus Prime. Are these worth the money? You're probably wondering, how much did I pay for this? I got this for 
five bucks off of eBay, and it was worth the money. If you can find this for five bucks or less, pick him up. He's a fun figure. If you're not a big fan of the Scout Class gimmick, don't pick him up. But if you are a fan of the little Scout Classes, I think they're a lot of fun to mess around with constantly. A lot of people have nitpicks about them, but I find them very fun for gimmick toys. And this is Eddie Hill. Before I move on and rock on and rock out, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.